this may be it. Fetus of Doom may have just clinched this game. He's just killed off a ton of probes. A ton of probes um, in, in, uh, in um, sorry, excuse me, in Deja Vu's base. It looks like he only has a few probes left mining now. He managed to get a few away, but that was critical. I was going to say that I think um, Deja Vu had more probes mining despite the fact that he'd, um, he'd gotten um, his base kind of uh, invaded for a while. He had more probes mining, but now he's down to just seven or eight probes mining uh, at this point, and uh, he is going to have another base up pretty soon here to try and produce some more probes, but uh, Fetus of Doom already has his second base up, and uh, he might even be thinking about putting up a third, and he is moving out now with a bunch of Dragoons. So uh, this is not looking good at all for, um, for Deja Vu. Deja Vu has the... A military advantage for the moment, for the moment, but uh, it's only a matter of time before uh, the superior economy uh, of uh, Fetus of Doom is going to out macro him. He is the battle, the, they are engaging the mill here. If he can pick off that, that Reaver, he's attacking the Reaver, he needs to pick it up in the shuttle, get out of the way. Oh, he does get it up in the shuttle, but he's going to lose a lot of Dragoons in the process. He's just outnumbered. His Reaver spent the whole battle running away from those Dragoons, uh, only got one Scarab off, and so. Um, Deja Vu is going to take that battle and he really needs to attack now. He needs to do some damage while he has that advantage. But instead he's going to try and fall back and protect his base. Um, and it's really too bad. He, he could have perhaps gotten himself back into this game if he was able to do a frontal attack and kill off some probes here. Um, but uh, uh, Fetus of Doom did manage to save that Reaver. Um, not sure what he did with it. Maybe I missed it flying around somewhere. Um, well, maybe... Uh, I don't see what happened to River. Okay. Well, River is uh, apparently gone. Uh, maybe he tried to fly it in for uh, um, a, a drop and I missed it here. Um, but uh, in, in any case, uh, he really needs... He should have. He really should be pressing home this military advantage that he has uh, at the moment. He's, oh, he's managed to get a lot of probes up and going. Now, critically, um, uh, Thetis of Doom has the second gas here, so he's going to be able to get a, a lot more Dragoons and higher tech units and that sort of thing. Um, in the long run, um, and he looks like, oh, no, he's just getting more gateways up. I thought he would be taking his third base right now, but he is just going to go ahead and, and get more gateways up instead, and um, just continue attacking. It looks like he's producing more reavers as well to get in that shuttle. I'm really curious. I'm sorry I missed uh, what happened in that reaver, but I don't know what I don't know where it went. Um, I, I thought it was able to get away. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, now this is interesting. He does have, let's, oh wait, I think, does Deja Vu have any observers? Uh, he has an observatory, but I haven't seen any observers from him yet. Um, although he has the observatory, so if any Dark Templar came in or anything like that, any kind of tech switch, um, Fetus of Doom would be able to deal with it pretty easily. Um, he's got a lot of gateways going, but again, at the moment, he doesn't have a lot of forces on the ground. Um, he's getting a couple reavers. He's probably going to wait for that second reaver to come out, and then he's going to make another attack, combined attack, with as many dragoons as he has in those two reavers. And um, uh, let's see, Deja Vu is going to need something like that. He's going to need reavers or something along those lines to deal with that when uh, it comes out. Otherwise, he's going to be able to use the reavers to break his ramp again, um, and that's not going to be good. He's pushing out with some dragoons already. Okay, finally, he's producing another reaver. But it's a little bit late. It's not going to really get out in time. There's no shuttle, so it's going to have to crawl slowly its way up to this ramp to try and counter uh, the reavers of, of Fetus of Doom, uh, who probably has that second reaver finished. Yeah, he's got that second reaver finished now. He's decided to ditch it and uh, just go with the single shuttle, uh, which is maybe he's leaving one reaver behind for defense. Uh, but he's going in here for with uh, for an attack. He's got a lot less dragoons again, though. Again. Uh, Deja Vu with the superior number of Dragoons um, and the high ground as well. Let's see if that river can actually manage to, to even things up. A couple more Dragoons coming in here, but again, a little bit of military advantage for Deja Vu. Oh, is he going to try and sneak in there and get some probes? No, he's going to—he's just moving off here, trying to um, get out of the way in case he wanted to come out and snipe it. Yeah, he is, he is lining up. He's attacking with his Dragoons in the front to distract. He's going to try and come in back with his Reaver. He does come in the back with the Reaver. The Reaver, oh, goes... Oh, gets a lot of probe kills, and he's really, really lucky that Deja Vu didn't notice that. Otherwise, he could have easily picked off that shuttle. He still could, theoretically. He is going after the shuttle with one Dragoon. He's going with several Dragoons after the shuttle goes down with the Reaver inside it. He retains the high ground um, and a couple extra Dragoons as well. So, 
Fetus of Doom doing a kind of a, a, a good idea, but a badly executed attack there, um, firing uphill the entire time. He did not use his reaver to break the high ground. Instead, uh, he tried to go in and kill some probes. He got four or five probe kills, but I don't think that was really enough. Um, Deja Vu is doing a lot better job of macroing Dragoons up here and uh, keeping his army count high. He's got that reaver out now as well, and we'll see if he's producing a shuttle for it. No, he doesn't have a shuttle for it at the moment. Um, but again, in the meantime, um, Fetus of Doom maintaining the economic advantage has managed to get his third base up here. And um, uh, Deja Vu just now starting that Nexus up uh, to try and get that going. So um, it's been kind of a constant battle of, uh, of, of um, excuse me, a Fetus of Doom having a superior economy and superior tech. Um, but uh, Deja Vu has had superior strategic location and uh, superior military. Um, so it, it, things have kind of ended up even the entire time because of that. And uh, it really would have helped for him to have that second reaver in play as well. I'm not sure why he didn't bring that alongside. Uh, but he does have two reavers in a shuttle again now. And we're probably going to see him, if, if he goes with his norm, he's probably going to move out with these Dragoons, uh, meet up with these Dragoons in the middle and go for another attack. But Deja move, Vu moving out with a lot of Dragoons now. Um, a couple of groups of Dragoons here it looks like, although he seems to have stopped producing them. Uh, for a minute there to get up that third base. Now he's back producing more Dragoons, and he is trying to press this home, but again, no tech here. So he's basically, he's going to have to depend on... Now, if, if Deja Vu can take out that shuttle and snipe the Reavers, he's going to be in good shape. He's moving in with a bunch of Dragoons. Um, he's got a lot more Dragoons. The Reavers are coming into play. They're a little bit close there. They could get sniped off very easily. He tries to drop him out and fire off a couple scarabs. He does get a cool... Oh no, another group of Dragoons coming in from the, from the south. And a surround, oh my god, look at all that Dragoon blood, and this whole group right there is all Deja Vu's Dragoons, and he just got completely um, outnumbered in that situation. Um, I, 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 he started off having more Dragoons, but then he started battling just the reinforcements here, and the main group of Dragoons came in from the other side and sandwiched him, and not to mention that a couple Scarabs went off in the mix as well. He really, if, he had, if he'd gone in, and like I said, if he'd sniped off those Reavers, he would have been able to do them really well, but he didn't snipe those Reavers. Now, here's the counterattack coming in. Again, not targeting that shuttle, um, so he misses an opportunity to, to really um, take a, a, a chance to get back into this game if he'd snipe that shuttle with both the Reavers inside of it. And again, not targeting the Reaver. Oh, oh, the Reaver's getting picked up and dropped in the shuttles. Decent micro there um, by Fetus of Doom, and now he has superior numbers, and he's taking the high ground with his Reavers. They're killing off probes. This is the end for Deja Vu, I believe. He's trying to macro Dragoons out as quickly as possible, but those Reavers are just going to town on his probes. He still retains the high ground in the Dragoon battle, but the uh, Reavers are also on the high ground, so they're able to get some decent Scarabs off on the... Um, I don't think there's a mischance for Scarabs going uphill, actually, but um, nonetheless, uh, he, he's able to take that high ground and do damage going uphill there, and oh no! Fighting with probes is no good against Reavers. It's only a matter of time here, so... Dragoon's coming in, uh, he, he may be able to hold off this attack, but um, uh, Fetus of Doom has done so much damage, so much damage to his economy, he's killed off so many probes with those Reavers, that um, it's really not going to matter at this point. And, uh, oh man, he, he still saves the Reavers, the Dragoons all die, but he saves the Reavers, and it looks like he's going to try and finish things off, going for an attack on the probes in the main, which is almost mined out, which is just a beautiful, okay, never mind, it, <laughs> It's beautiful to have them clumped up like that. It, one Scarab could take out so many probes. Uh, it looks like he's going to fall back and wait for more Dragoon support, though. And I'm really surprised that Deja Vu has not been trying to go for that shuttle. It's really, it's really been when you're when you're low on tech yourself. The critical thing is you need to snipe their tech, and he hasn't done any of that. If he just sniped that shuttle with the Reavers inside of it, he would have been in such good shape, and he would have been able to fight that off with superior Dragoons in the high ground again. And then they would have been at three bases apiece. Um, but he did not do that, and. Um, so it looks like uh, Fetus of Doom is going to take this game. And Deja Vu with a S D K N F K A S J F. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's a, that's a sign of frustration there. Not a GG yet. He's still trying to uh, get a few more Dragoons out and just try and fight this off. But his half of his gateways are unpowered now. So it's going to be really difficult for him to do that. He's probably just frustrated that he lost. Uh, even though he had a military advantage there at one point. Um, but now he doesn't have any probes, so there's... Uh, well, he has a few probes, but there's not really a whole lot he can do at this point. So, uh, probably going to see GG here in a second. 
Um, but anyways, there's GG coming from uh, Deja Vu. So, um, this is the first game of the set, and so that means uh, uh, Fetus of Doom is going to take uh, the first game in this set for Carnegie Mellon, and that was a great game, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, go check out uh, college, uh, the College Star League website, cstarleague.com, and uh, go check it out, and it'll show you all the recent matches and uh, uh, matches that are coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching.